Breaking right now on CBS News Philadelphia, we're following a terrifying mass casualty situation in Baltimore after the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapses. This is overnight video of the moment a container ship strikes a support column causing that bridge to fall in the Patasco River around 1.30 this morning. And take a look at this map. This shows exactly where the bridge is located, where it collapsed into the river, and you can see just how long this span stretches. It is expansive. At this point, the focus is on recovering any possible victims who may be in the water right now. CBS News Philadelphia's Wakisha Bailey live at the staging area on the ground in Baltimore. Uh, Wakisha, tell us what you can see and what you know from your vantage point. Yeah, good morning, Janelle Jim. A massive presence here of officials trying to figure out exactly what happened. Now, we are still waiting to hear from authorities as to what the final numbers are, but so far we do know that they are right now looking for 20 people, and that number has jumped significantly since 7. Now, I'm going to step out of the way because we are at the staging area, but you can get a glimpse of what's left of this bridge. As you can see, where the bridge collapsed and the road is just practically split in half in one. Once again, you just cannot get over just how many people they're looking for right number. That number, we're told right now, is 20 people. Let's play that video again, showing the moment a large container ship crashes into part of Baltimore's Francis Key Bridge and ultimately catching fire. Now, as the bridge collapsed, we are told cars went flying into the Patapsco River. Now, Baltimore City Fire Department says this all began around 1.30 a.m. when they started receiving calls of people frantic seeing that a vessel hit a bridge column. Now it's still unclear how many cars were on the bridge, but we do know a large tractor trailer was on it. And officials say at this time, they say once again, at least 20 people are in the river, including people who work on the bridge. And all lanes in both directions along I-695 on the bridge are closed at this time. And we are expected to hear from authorities throughout the day, but you can only imagine what the people in this area are going through right now, especially if you do travel this area or along this bridge at this hour. Now, you're seeing how devastating a lot of this video is at this time at 5:30 in the morning when it's still dark so only imagine what this scene is going to look like once it is light out now we're going to remain out here and hopefully hear from authorities within the next couple of hours as to what they are doing right now but many of them are saying that their primary focus right now is recover and to rescue these people sending it back to you and there's and that rescue i mean the time frame i mean it's 30 degrees outside 39 degrees here right now i mean that water must be frigid at this point and in addition to that, well, you know, j go ahead, Bakisha. Yeah, I, I was just going to say that that is some of the biggest concerns with a lot of people that we're just seeing here pass by. They're all saying, wow, to actually have your car flying off the bridge, landing in this water, the speed and from where the level of as mm -hmm. high as the bridge is and from the distance to the water, along with, once again, it's what, 50 degrees out here, so who knows how cold it is in that water. Right, obviously hypothermia, a, a real concern at this point. Also, they're dealing with the darkness. You know, crews, they have dive crews out there, but it is dark. You can only imagine that is making this rescue operation that much more difficult, Vacacia. Oh, absolutely. And hopefully we're going to hear from some of the people that are leading that rescue within the next couple of hours. But they are advising a lot of people that if you are in this area to definitely stay away because right now officials, they need to do their job. Yeah, and to recap, this happened around 1.30 this morning. This uh, cargo ship crashing right into the pylon of that bridge, causing that mid-span of the structure to come down within just about seconds. Uh, we're told about 20 seconds it took for that entire middle span of the bridge to collapse. Wakisha Bailey on the scene there live for us from Baltimore. She'll have more reports throughout the morning.